Hello everyone once again and welcome back to PAX and Recreation and today the journey to become a Pokemon Master continues with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Obsidian Flames. Now, if you're following this channel, which I hope you do, and if you don't, please subscribe, but this is the first the booster box that I opened for Pokemon. I opened a bunch of boosters, but it's the first box I opened on camera. And it's very funny for me because the box is kind of small compared to the ones that I'm used to opening. So and if you don't know what if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go check another video on the channel for like magic or something. But like kind of small. Like for comparison, this is a draft booster box for 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 magic, right? Like not that far away from each other. And yes, like magic boosters normally have more cards, those have like 15, and Pokemon has like 10. But I'm just kind of surprised that it's like so small, but it's very heavy, so it's very compact. Everything is in here. Now let's see, and let's see what mysteries and what Pokemon await for us in here. Now, since this is Pokemon, and every good Pokemon master has a goal, my goal as a Pokemon Master is not to get like any ultra rares or anything, like, don't get me wrong. If we get one, we celebrate, boys, but my goal is to get... Nice. My goal is to get Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot, and if I can get one of them in a special edition, that would be even better. Now, let's see. Let's start and let's kick off this machine. Now, well, obviously in second place, I guess it will be Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, but you get the point. Capsakid, Drillbur, Kopchu, Tynemo, Lycanroc, Probopass, there you go, just marking the spots right there. Trainer card, Cleffa in foil, Brushes in foil. Thunderous in foil, nice, nice looking. Basic energy and a code for you. There's going to be a bunch of codes for you, so please be on top of your game because you're going to need it. Obviously, you don't feel bad for taking more than one code, but please leave some codes for the rest. I mean, it's like I don't know how many boosters are here, but like there are codes for a lot of people. Uh, Swablu. Steeny, Whooper, and that's when I hit the wall. Oh yeah, because this one is repeated. No, Whooper, Trevenant, nice art right there. Belly Bolt, Flamigo, The Chunk, <laughs> nice art. Patrol Cap, ooh, Reva Room. Reva Room EX. Reva Room, 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 room. 280 HP. Look at that thing. Nice foil with stars. Nice. Although I have to say, it kind of feels like some of the fake cards that sometimes uh, like I see on, on you know on like for cheap on stores. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Or just copies are so good that you know they look like the originals, the fake ones. Now, as usual, and I have to make this reminder because it's part of the the pact that we crackers, uh, pack crackers, uh, made a long time ago. You remember that if you want any specific card, just buy the single. It's a lot better than just cracking packs for the sake of trying to see if you get something, because like it's very likely that you won't. So it's smarter to just get the card that you want. Drampa, nice. In foil, and I don't have a spot for dragons, so that's when the drama begins. Dragons go here, I guess. Ooh, Glimora X or Glimora EX, nice. Oh, Glimora, yeah. Poisonous gem, dust field. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent can have more than three bench Pokemon. If they have more, four or more, they discard bench Pokemon until they have three Pokemon on the bench. If they if more than one effect changes the number of bench Pokemon allowed, use the smaller number. <laughs> well, that's very nice indeed. Basic energy, 
code for you. Baltoy, Carvana, the chunk. <laughs> How many of the chunks do we have? Palpitoad, Bronzog, Bronzong, Vertic, Charmeleon, there you go. Starting nice. Crow Brother, <laughs> nice. Team Star Grunt, Palafin. Nice. So I guess it's Palafin because it's, it comes from a dolphin, so it's like a yeah. basic energy and code. Well, now I'm starting to understand why it was so heavy yet so small. There's so many packs cramped in there, like, jeez. Cryogonal, Cryogonal, I guess, because diagonal. Togepi, Bonsley. Dolive, Dolive, Doctrio, Houndstone, Diggers B, or Diggers by, Bounce Suite, not bad, Paldian, Clotzier, mm, not bad, Claydol in foil, interesting, and then a basic energy for metal and a code. Zagoon, Scyther, always welcome a Scyther in the family, Melton, Charcadet, Excadrill, Pidgeotto, there you go, there you go, there you go. I know that you're already thinking, like, bro, you can get like so much better cards or more expensive cards and you're just gushing over a Pidgeot. It's like, let me be okay. I just like Pidgeotto and Pidgey and Pidgeot. That's my, let me think. Dragoner. Dragonair, Claydol, Togepi, Toxtricity, Basic Energy, and Code. Timpo, Source Kit, Numel, Reward. Camerupt, Paladin Clotzier, another art, I love it. Grumble, Rhyme, Palpitoad in foil, Gita, or Gita, I guess, I don't know. Basic Energy and Code. Yep, it's a bunch of boosters just cramped in there. Uh, rhyme again. Sorry, rhyme again, rhyme again, rhyme, 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 rhyme again, rock rough. Jeez, they're so cramped because of me wanting to show the box that. Sorry, it's just that I can't continue without proper organization. It's a, a thing that I have. Um, okay, Rockruff, Wiglet, Shuckle, Armor Rouge, or Armor Rogue, I think it's Armor Rouge, Among Us, Sismitoad, <laughs> uh, huh, nice looking, Magnezone, nice looking Magnezone right there, Grumpig, very nice foil, Togekiss, Energy, and cold. Tynamo, Fatump, Volpix, Froki, Malamar, Grumpig, Belly Bolt, <laughs> nice. Uh, Larvesta, nice looking. I, I really like the, the, the ones that the Pokemon looks like a real thing in 3D. In 3D. I just really like it. Skarmory, always like Skarmory. Thunderous again, not bad. 
Electric energy for Thunderous and a call for you. We just ninja did. B sharp. Uh, Magneton. Team Paul. Hitmore, which is. Arboliva, Team Star Grunt, Altaria, Grand Bull. Ah, I see a nice card. Pigeon! Oh, yeah, baby, let's go! Uh, like, I know that the card is like super simple and it's kind of ugly to a degree, but it's Pigeon EX, man. Let's go! Look at this! Oh, wow! I just love Pidget and like. It's it's one of, one of the OG Pokemon, man. One of the OG Pokemon. What a good booster! Oh wait, there's there's more Greedent EX. I still love Pidgeot more, <laughs> but hey, nice Greedent EX. Never ever enough and a sleep and roll. Nice, basic, and code for you. Now I already got Pidgeot. We can stop the video here, boys. Be cool. I remember in the Pokemon series back in the day. I mean, if you think about it, Pidgeot um, is the first Pokemon that Ash catches, uh, you know, and it was kind of OP for Ash. And like in the game, you really don't get a Pidgeot that early, but whatever, you don't also get a Pikachu unless you play the yellow version. So I guess there is that. But um, and he helps Ash catch just a bunch of stuff and then. Like, yes, Ash always uses his bird Pokemon. Ooh, Bloom, nice. As, like, scouts. Ooh, Ninetales, nice. I saw this art in the booklet, and I just love this art so much. Look at that. Beautiful. Kind of a shame that it's bent, because... Come on, Nintendo and Pokemon Company, get your stuff together with the foils. But hey, nice. Claydol. Basic energy, code for you. And I remember that, you know, Ash always does that thing, and it kind of kind of bothers me. It's like, oh, I have a bird. He always gets the bird Pokemon of the region. You know, like in Kanto is PG, in in uh, Johto is Hoot Hoot. Um, and you know and so so far so and he, he always uses them as scouts and stuff like that very rarely he uses them for fights and when he uses them for fights it's just like the beginning or something and then he just really doesn't use them anymore like, like the, he never uses them as proper fighters and i know that like in the games it's not like the bird po like the the basic bird pokemons are like good for combat or anything but hey you can i mean you can try at least and it i, I always remember Nice. I always remember that uh, that moment when like the, the Pidgeot episode, right? Ooh, Glimora X. Glimora EX, but this time Super Foil. Like a Stardust Foil. Look at that. Nice. The basic energy code for you. Like Pidgeot wouldn't appear for some time and then it's like, oh no, it's like a colony of of Pidgeys and Pidgeots and like we have to protect them and he evolves to defend them and he becomes a Pidgeot. I remember seeing that. I played the game quite a lot and Pidgeot was like my second in command because my first in command was Blastoise. So Pidgeot is like, you know, right there, right in the Kokoro, right? And I'm like, yeah, bro, let's go. And the moment he evolves, he fights the giant Spiro and all that stuff. And then he's like, yeah, I want to stay here to protect them. And Ash is like, cool. And I was like, <laughs> like, the one moment you have a Pidgeot, you don't have a Pidgeot anymore. And I mean, yes, I get it. Like, it's all about friendship and like, like what the Pokemon wanted and not what Ash wanted. And that's the whole, you know, morale of the story. Oh, nice. Look at this. Anyway. But you can't help to, fig to feel like, come on, now that you have a Pidgeot, come on. And... Um, I always got triggered because of that. Then with, with with X and Y, I think it was X and Y with the with the Mega Evolutions, 
We got a Mega Evolution for Pidgeot. That was good because I like Pidgeot and I wanted to be more competitive with it. So that was nice. I don't. It's kind of weird that it's like a Super Saiyan tree Pidgeot and it has like the hair super long. But hey, I will take whatever they give me. So I really liked it. Capsa kit, nice. But oh, Hente, look at this. Um, electric and a redeem. It was like super aggressive kind of gameplay with that Pidgeot, uh, with Mega Pidgeot. Oh, Pidgey, there you go. So, I don't know, I always felt like we could do better for those, but again, they, they feel a very specific need in the game, which is like, oh, you have like a basic bird and like, I don't know. Do you, like, when you play Pokemon, do you, do you rotate? Oh, Pidgeot, there you go, nice. Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot, there you go. When you play Pokemon, do you rotate your Pokemon or do you, do you try to keep the ones that you like for the longest? Like, I remember that there's always like the bug Pokemon. That's always the one that that gets forgotten. For example, Butterfree. Regardless of how much I liked Butterfree in the in the originals, and um, I remember the name of uh, Beauty. Beauty, Be Beauty Fly, maybe the one from the third generation. Um, regardless of how much I like them, they have a cap. Like they evolve super fast, so that in, in terms of game design, the, the bug Pokemon are designed. They you always see bug Pokemon at the beginning, or book Pokemon at the beginning, and they they are designed so that you catch them. They are easy to catch, and they evolve super fast. Like Caterpie evolves two times uh, until level 12, right? So that's for you to get a taste of the evolution mechanic because your starter only evolves at level 16. Um, so that's designed so that you know how evolves, wo evolutions works and all that stuff. The problem is that you get your... Nice. You get your third level evolution at level 12. So... And Butterfree just learns like three moves uh, in level 12, just all the spores, right? Um, ooh, Caesar, nice. Or Sizor, I don't know. Like, oof, nice. Um, so I guess it leaves you. I'm still in the, in the, in the right side of the box. What the hell? Um, so I guess this, you know, like I really tried to keep Butterfree and Butterfree had confusion, which was very, very useful. But you can just really tell that the Pokemon is not as good as the others because it has like an early cap and you have to trade it for something else eventually. Same for all other bugs and maybe even for the bird Pokemon as well. Do you have that when you play Pokemon? I don't know. Let me know because it kind of... You know, it's like it's like a Tamagotchi kind of thing. You develop this relationship with with the things, and it's like oh, I don't want to change it for for some other because you started the game with that one. Plus, maybe you like the design. It's like I like this Pokemon. I want to keep this Pokemon, but the game is kind of forcing you to like nah, just go for the go for the mathematically better ones, right? And if, po if Pokemon was single player, everyone will have more or less the same Pokemon. Like if Pokemon didn't have like competitive scene and tournaments and and um, trading systems and ex you know all that stuff and exclusive Pokemon according to the version, everyone will have more or less the same team, which kind of happened in in the first versions of the game. You will have people. Everyone had like the starter, then Articuno, Sabdos, Moltres, Mewtwo. Um, because it was mathematically hard to not have that team because it was like the Uber team, right? So uh, you, everyone had kind of the same team. It just changed the starter more or less. Um, and then maybe, like, because I think when I have those Moltres and Mewtwo, that's four. Then you have your starter, five. And the fifth spot, I think that was the one that you picked something that you liked or it was the HM Slave. So the, the Pokemon that you just put all the hidden machines on. Which in my case was Paras, by the way. Um, my team was different. I don't think I had 
I had all the birds caught, but I didn't use all of them in my team. I had Blastoise. So I think I had Blastoise, Sapdos, maybe? Um, I don't think if I had... I don't remember if I have Sapdos, but I had Pidgeot, Blastoise, Paras, which I think I told that in, in these channels once, I, I guess, but like... I never evolved... Ooh, Houndoom. I never evolved it to, to Parasect because I, I read the Pokedex. And I saw that the 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 mushroom takes over them and like their eyes becomes white and all the stuff. And as a kid, I was like, "Yeah, I don't want my paras to become, you know, dead or corrupted by a parasite." So I'm not going to evolve it. And at the end of the game, I had like a level 100 paras, and that thing wasn't very good at fighting uh, against other people. But it had, you know, it had caught and some other HMs. And I don't know, I liked it. So it was Blastoise, Pidgeot, Paras, Mewtwo, because of course you need to have Mewtwo. I didn't have the other starters uh, because I didn't get a friend to trade them with. Um, because it's one of those things as a kid. Everyone was like, um, hey, uh, can you, you want to trade me with your starter? It's like, no, 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 the starters are mine. And the, start the starters are like this precious thing. No one thought to be like, hey, if you give me your starter and then start the game again and do that twice, we can get the starters in a, in a single account, like all three starters. Obviously, until Pokemon Gold and Silver, there wasn't any eggs. So it's not like it is today. That it's like, oh, just give me the starters. I, 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 I can create eggs and then I pass them back. To you. Plus, the game had this soft lock. You had to play until, I don't know, which gym to be able to trade your starter. So it wasn't like that that fast. Um, so yeah, same thing with Eevee and the evolutions. You only had one Eevee, but you could you could just evolve it into anything with the rocks. So you had to, to get other Eevees or just other Eevees already evolved into Flareon, Jolteon and Vaporeon. Um, that game was very well made for its time to, to force people into trading and collaborating and, you know, becoming a very viral thing. Uh, and that's why we are opening cards today, right? Because Pokemon is one of the most famous and strongest IPs in the world. Um, and all started with a game and a, and a dude that really liked catching bugs as a kid. And for a fact, Clefable, Clefairy was supposed to be the starter Pokemon for Ash, but then at the last time they were like, ah, oh, let's go with Pikachu. Which by now is like obvious, but if you want to see how it will be for, you know, for the main character to have a Clefairy, there's a manga for that. Magneton, nice. Ooh, Houndoom EX, look at that. The star shining, look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Dark, Evil Claw, Hound's Fang, look at that thing, yikes. Sexy. And then this. Litwick. Audino. Charmander. You realize that we haven't pulled any Charizard or anything? Like... Like, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not asking for like a super crazy Charizard or like a normal Charizard or something. I mean, even Charmander is kind of hard to cross, to come across. And it's like the face of the Elite Trainer box. Kind of weird. Umbreon, nice. Altaria. Odish. Claydol. Psychic Energy. Card for you. Bounce with Vulpix, Fatum, Podian Whooper, Linoon, Dermanitan, Dermanitan or Dermanitan, I guess, Dartrix. You can see that there are more fire Pokemon than anything else, but it makes sense. It's called Obsidian Flames, right? So, Bronzor. Oh, I see a nice card. Oh, Lechonk. 
the nice looking art. And mind you, I opened the booster like this, precisely to bend the cards this way. And even like that, the cards are like all bent the other way, whatever. What a nice looking card. Amazing, I love it. The Chuck is the best. And if you speak Spanish, the name is just great. Because Le Chunk is obviously from Chunky, because it's like a, you know, it's a pig. Ooh, Poppy. Nice. Double nice. Um, but a, a lechon in Spanish is a baby pig. So, you know, lechon is just a perfect name. And this was done on purpose, of course, because Paldea is based on Portugal and Spain. So, you know, there is, there is that. It makes sense. But that card is just lovely. He just like after eating, just in coma <laughs> after eating too much. Love it. Finizen. Her the year. Glimat. Poppy. Lunatone. Dartrix. Mawile. Salandit. Darkray. Oh, look at that rock. Amazing. Basic energy and code. Weasel, Smoliv, Varum, Sandit, Frogadier, nice. Stunfisk, Salazzle, Camerupt, in foil, Smoliv, in foil as well, Togekiss, cool. Wait, I did a poo-poo. Yeah, I put all the psychic on the dark water. Um, basic energy and code. The mission continues. Rhyme, Wiglet, Rockruff, Shuckle, Oinkolon, Salazzle, The Can Rock, Scyther, nice, Cryogonal, Palafin, or Palafin, Basic Energy and a Code. Electric, Larvitar, Magnemite, Eevee, Wooktrio, <laughs> Kangaskhan, Wishkash, Eevee, again, Tadbulb, and ooh, Charlie's are talking about the devil. There you go, what a nice looking card. Wow. It has like a crown of spine? What the hell? As long as this Pokemon is on the bench, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks, both yours and then Infernal Rain. When you when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for up to three basic fire energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like, then shuffle your deck. Yikes. What a nice card. And it's, it's a dark type Pokemon, but you know. It's fire, it's Chaser. Weakness to grass, which is ironic. Basic energy and a code. Lampent, Gloom, Bronzar, Snubble, Kangaskhan. Camera up. I need to do this faster so I can do it like the poker up, like like Lapras Point, Hondur, whatever. Ooh, Hondur, nice looking art. 
I really like this these ones. Like it's just like a snapshot of the Pokemon's living their life. Again, these spoils are, however, are kind of not ideal. Togekiss, Psychic Energy, and Code. Charcadet, Ponyard, Sinisty, <laughs> Tad Bulb, Toad Screw, Solar Rock, Dog Trio, Larvitar, Town Store, and Dragonite EX. Oh, wow. You can't really, you can't even see the Pokemon because of the text box. Like, couldn't this text box be just a little bit smaller? Like, there is no need for all this blank space on top. Like, come on. It's a little bit smaller. Show me that Dragonite. Poor thing is like covered by text. But the, the guy looks great regardless. But like, still, it's just very funny. Basic energy and redeem code for you. Toge de Maru, or Toge de Maru, Grievard, yeah, Grievard, or Graveyard, Lechonk, Togepi, Espion, or Espion, Flotzel, Wish Guys, Lechonk, in foil, Froki, in foil, Toxtricity, of our city, in foil, Basic fire energy and a code for you. Team Pole, Hit More, Lily Poop, Toxel, Togetic, Nine Tails. Look at that, beautiful. Poltigeist, haha, <laughs> get it? Poltigeist, Fungus, Toge de Maru, Toge de Maru, Entei, looking amazing, Basic Energy, and Code. Now, five to go, I just remove the box. B sharp, Magneton, Team Pole, Hit More, Probopass, Linoon, Skarmory, Wiglet in Foil, Numel in Foil, Gita or Gita, I don't know, Basic Energy and a Code. Thought School, Combi, Rhyme, Rock Rough, Flow Atzel, Ombreon, nice looking card, Lapras, lovely, Drillbore, oh oh oh, here it comes, Pidgeot EX again, yes, lovely, I wanted one, I got two, I know that it's not as rare as the others, I think, no, it's like two gold stars, like, I think, yeah. So like, whatever, but I love it. I love it, and I love it. Caesar, basic energy, and redeem. Three to go. Lily Poop. Toxel, Charcadet, Ponyard, Wook Trio. Dermanit, Dermanitan or Dermanitan, Stoutland, Bronzog, nice, Schwobet, Claydol, Energy, and Cold. Second to last. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't do it in, 
in another fashion way. B sharp, shuckle, wiglet, magneton, mascarine, wombshush, popiter, bottleby, diggersby, or diggersby, ooh, palmot ex, 300, zap kick, and living, uh, living strike. What a, what a nice looking card. Like, with those shiny sparks. Great, basic water energy and a redeem code. And now the very last booster of this box. What mysteries will be here? Basically, uh, likely nothing of value or, or like uh, even nice looking, but hey, last thing that you lose is hope, right? So that bulb, Numel, Mawile, Frogadier, Sharpedo, Drampa, Vengeful Punch, Darumaka, Thunderous, and that's it. I, I, I thought it was missing like a shiny one, but no. So Thunderous is the last one, basic energy, and the last code for you, my friends. And that will be it. Now, let's try to pick the best looking car for each color so i think it's this dragonite although well dragonite is nice looking but yeah let's go with this one even though you can't you can't really see the pokemon in there but whatever um so but basically i just don't have anything that that is worth looking at so dragonite is there now let's see for trainers well i guess the only nice looking trainer card i guess because all of them kind of look the same to me, so I guess this the poppy one is is okay. Now for normal type, <laughs> no more questions, Your Honor. Amazing looking. Now for fire, uh, now for fire, uh, Entei may win, but I think there is a nine tail somewhere here, unless I am misremembering. That we cracked a nice looking there you go nine tails amazing now for psychic or poison or whatever um i don't think we have any special thing going here but i we'll always go with a nice looking safe bed like toga keys which I think is going to be the case, to be honest. Like, we don't have any weird looking cards here. I don't want to repeat Claydol in every video. So it's going to be Togek. It's kind of nice, clean, safe bet, you know. Nice looking. For Fist Energy, which is ground and fighting and rock. Um, I don't have the bet. Ooh, Glimora EX, that's right. And then the the other glimora um so this one is okay but this one really you know shoves this is like a normal foil this is the, the the star foil like you, you see actually less pokemon in this one but the way it is and the, the effect of the foil and all that really just brings it to life uh, caesar is always in my heart so maybe caesar is going to be it Yeah, Rev of Room, I like you, bro, but Caesar is Caesar's, so... For for blue or water, because it's also water and ice... What do we have here that we like a lot? Well, Palafin is like a good-looking card. But is it the best-looking card here? I mean, I can go with... Yeah, I think it is. But... I mean, Frogadier, I like this one, but, and Froki. Really picked Froki last time, so it's going to be Palafin. Electric. I think Palmot is going to be the easy choice for best looking card in electric type. But this Magneton actually looks nicer, I think. So it's going to be Magneton. Yes, Tox 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 Toxtricity looks very nice, but, and Thunderous looks amazing. 
but I just like the way that this thing works with the background, so it's going to be that. Now for grass, which we should touch every once in a while, touch some grass. Scyther is always in my heart and is a you know, safe bet kind of thing. I love how Trevenant looks, but it's kind of confusing, the drawing. So yeah, let's go with Scyther. We, go, we went with Caesar, with Scyther and Caesar. There you go. And then for Dark, I think you know what's going to be. It's not Houndour, it's not Umbreon, it's going to be Charizard GX, but we got a lot of nice looking cards. Look at Dark Ray, look at, look at Houndoom, like very nice looking cards. But hey, the king is the king, and look at this thing. So there you go. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my picks for best looking card. Let me know what you think about this pool. Was this pool were these pools good? I think they were, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a silly old Pokemon fan, so there is that. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And as always, thank you very much for your time. See you next time in the journey to become a Pokemon master. It has been PAX and Recreation. Bye.